Armin developing this morning. A man died, another was arrested after a shooting outside Twin Peaks in Little Rock. Police say Contaria Scott and Dorian Moore were arguing in the restaurant. Witnesses told police that fight carried into the parking lot when Moore shot Scott. Moore ran off, but police say they found him trying to hide at a gas station in North Little Rock. Now the victim's friends are trying to hold on to the good times they had together. He was so sweet and he always had a smile on his face. Moore has been booked for first degree murder. Scott was a student at Philander Smith College. The school released a statement on Facebook saying, in part, Our thoughts and prayers are with Contarius's family and loved ones, as well as those students who were with Contarius last evening as we mourn this great loss. An update for you this morning. The man Little Rock police call the Hillcrest Flasher has been arrested. Police arrested Ricardo Gonzalez for flashing dozens of women in the Little Rock area. He's being held on several charges of indecent exposure. One woman told us she has waited months to hear this after being flashed by him back in April. It's just a ripple effect. It doesn't just affect that one person on that one day, but now it makes you think, how do I not become a victim the next time? Little Rock police want more victims to come forward. You can find the detective's number on our website. That's KARK.com. Uh, that still blows my mind. Can't believe it. Anyway, lightning may be the blame for a fire at Episcopal, Episcopal Collegiate School in Little Rock. So this is what happened. Little Rock firefighters credited quick actions from security to get help out there fast because word of the fire traveled very quickly as people crowded across the street to see what was going on. More than 20 people watched crews work to put the fire out. I was just sad because it's, I mean, I love it, so I don't want it to burn. <laughs> We don't know what the school will look like for students today, but firefighters say most of the damage was just on the roof, not inside of the building. Because money matters, the COVID-19 crisis has put millions of millions of small businesses at risk, but now there's a nonprofit trying to help them flourish. Several states, including Arkansas, have set up a 30 day fund. It provides grants up to $3,000 to businesses with up to 30 employees. That's money those businesses won't have to pay back. The average small business has only two weeks of cash reserve on hand. These folks are, are actually eating away at their retirement just to make sure that they're putting food on the table. Our number one mission is to save as many small businesses as we can. While the loans don't have to be repaid, the nonprofit asks the small businesses to pay it forward. For more information or if you'd like to donate, visit Arkansas30dayfund.com.